We just batched out seven projects using the F1 Ultra conveyor system and we'll show you which projects worked and which didn't right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. And today we have something ultra special. We have the X-Tool F1 Ultra and the conveyor system. We haven't been able to use the conveyor system because it's been down. Because somebody stepped on the cable but it's been repaired. We have a new cable, it's connected, and now we can showcase some of the features and functionality of the conveyor system. And I'm excited about it. I was excited about it when I originally tested it, but Garrett hasn't had the opportunity to test it out yet. I haven't seen anything, so I'm super excited to see how precise this automation and this conveyor system really is. And so we created uh, six or seven different projects for you. We're going to go from larger, and I would say that's business card size, down to something tiny, like some tiny dice. And we're going to do different objects, different sizes, and test it out. See which ones it recognizes, what it doesn't. we got lots of options. Project number one, business cards. I think this one's pretty easy. They're nice, rectangle, bright colored. I am curious to see though, if you're gonna start with a yellow one, how well it will do with the blue and pinks. Yeah, that's what we're gonna test out. So I think it will recognize the different colors. It's really looking for more the shape of the object. All right, okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put one down on our conveyor system, which I have here. Now, when I tested this originally, I couldn't get the conveyor system to work, and I learned what my problem was, so I'm gonna share my little trick with you. When you place your business card, if you place it under the red light when you do your sizing, he's turned it on so you probably can't see it from there but now if you place the business card under the red light and you scan the image the machine is now looking for that object and if the light is shining on it it's actually looking for that object with a tiny red light on it and it makes it think it's got a hole in it or some sort of a round circle on it and so when you send the business cards through if they don't happen to be lined <laughs> up with that hole in the exact same spot then it's not going to recognize it. So my trick to you is when you do scan with the conveyor, take it out from under the little red dot and then have it scan right there. Either in front of it, behind it, beside it, doesn't really matter. Just don't have the red light on it when you're scanning it. So if it will recognize that little dot, I'm thinking it's pretty precise on alignment. Then. Yeah, yeah, well let's see. So, we're yeah, gonna, let's we're gonna see. test out some different things. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is measure the thickness. So we're gonna press our little ruler. It does that automatically. Now you do want it under the, you do want the red light on the object at this point because it needs to know how thick it is. Does it very quickly. And now, yes, we're gonna take it out from under the little red dot. And then I'm gonna refresh my camera view. Let's. It doesn't really have to be perfectly square. Uh, it's just going to make it a little bit easier when I'm lining up my image. Now, I already have my image loaded that's going to go onto the business card. Okay, so I'm going to place my image onto the business card and I'm going to do, got to line it up a little bit here. Just trying to get it on there perfectly. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to frame out the material. And their instructions are right on the screen. It really does walk you through step by step. So I'm going to click frame out material. And then the machine is actually going to say, okay, what object am I looking for? Now make sure that your frame that it creates is actually around the full object. So here it's a frame around the business card. So it's already found it and it's perfect. Uh, the little image on the screen is showing you that if you want to frame out something like a keychain, you don't want to frame out just the engrave area. You want to frame, frame out the entire keychain with the little hook and loop on it, everything. So it knows that's the object that it's looking for when it passes through on the conveyor. So I'm going to click fill and then I'm going to set my power settings for this one. I'm using the fiber IR laser. Uh, power is 50% and speed is 3000 millimeters per second, one pass. 
All of those settings are already in here. So I'm going to lower it down. Now you need to leave room for the business cards to slide through. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, you've got it. Perfect. And let's click go to process. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to start feeding it. <laughs> it's going through its thing. Okay, it's recognizing the material. It found it. Preparing the preview. And now I'm going to hit start. I'm going to drop these on here now. Yeah, you don't have to, I see you've got them like perfectly lined. You can put them a little bit. A skew? Yeah, a skew. Yeah, good, right, good word, try. nice job. Well, it's pretty fast and grave. Yes, so it's gonna be kind of quick. Yeah. But let's start with uh, just Drop that one on here. Another yellow one and then see yeah. if it recognizes the pink and the blue. Uh -huh. I'm really trying to fill up the, <laughs> that conveyor belt. Going in deep. Here. Oh wait, even more askew. Whoa. Okay, one minute per business card. So it automatically advanced the conveyor. It's recognizing the material. Sending the file and now it's going. Oh, look at that, it's doing it sideways. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that, that's a lot slower, doing it sideways. Doing it sideways, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see. It was one minute for the first one. Let's see how long it takes for this one. Oh, does it tell you one by one? No, I just did the math. I'm good like that. Ooh, let's All try right. the yeah, black I one. I don't know if the black one. one will work. We'll try black one. Well, you can take those other two out. You don't have to wait for all those. If it'll go sideways, you know it'll recognize it because the others are kind of askew. And that's the pink card. Oh, and now it's moved on. Oh, look at that. It is catching the angle. Pretty to the good. other pink card. So it doesn't matter that we switched from yellow to pink. Are you already impressed? I want to see it come out and I want to match it up to the first one that went through and see if it lined it up just like the other one. So all of them are taking one minute each, and now it's doing the third card, which is the yellow card, and it's still on a different angle. Yeah. See, all three of these are on a different angle. Well, there's a fourth one in there, the blue one. The blue one's kind of dark. Let's see if it recognizes the blue one. It got the pink and the yellows pretty quick. Yeah, I'm wondering why it did the pinks and yellows first. Did it find the blue? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I did see the blue one. I Good. Saw the blue one. Yeah. I see that yellow one. Do you see the top of it? Oh, got a That's, little fady. Yeah, it didn't do it as bright, and vibrant because I think it's the closest to the front of the laser. So it's the oh, maybe it's and the Galvo is at the sharpest angle because the Galvo does like this. So it was pointing way out there to the front of the conveyor system. Well, that's good to know. That is good to know. Right, let's see how far it advances now. Will it advance to the next four? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. All right, shoot Here the material, we'll recognize the material. Ones. It's on that black conveyor belt with black cards. Well, on the screen, you can very much see them. Oh yeah, wow, look at that. Oh, it found it. It started with a black card. And man, it looks the best on the black cards. It really has a contrast between the engrave and the black business card. So it looks like it's in the same spot, like if I'm looking at the G. I mean, they're lined up pretty good there. And the G looks like it's the same space from the bottom. Nice job. Now show the one with the extreme angle. Oh, uh, this one? I don't know, that kind of looks cool. Oh, you can definitely see that this one went sideways and this one came across diagonal. Can't really see it in that one. Oh, the engraved lines. Yeah, you can yeah, tell you which can way it engraved it. Lines. Not that it really matters in this case, but you can tell. 
and it will continue to advance as long as it finds an object on the conveyor system it will continue to advance so it's going to advance twice with no objects if it doesn't find it on the second advance it will end its process all right we are how many business cards did it do eight nine uh, eight. we're at eight forty eight Oh yeah, I guess nine was the first one. Oh, right. So nine minutes, nine business cards? That's not bad. Well, especially with all of the engraved we have on here, it's yeah. not just a couple of words. You've got a full QR code, the full background of you the did. K and G. Took up a lot of real estate. Yes, yeah. yeah. They've engraved a lot of this business card. All right, here we go, let's see. So it's advanced. It's not going to find anything on this one. It's going to advance again. There it goes. It's looking. It doesn't recognize. I'm looking. Oh, I'm and looking. a third advance. I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay, guys, I don't even see anything. Are you guys yeah. still there? Oh, maybe it's five times. I think five it's times. five times. What they say, five times a charm. There you go. All right. It ended its job. No material has been recognized. All right. Yeah. Eight business cards. Well, nine business cards and nine minutes. And they all look pretty good. Here, I'm going to line them all up. Let's just see how well they did. Oh, look at you. Oh, perfect. Wow. I'm super impressed. Yeah, they're all right in the same spot. All right, yeah, I'm impressed. Okay, I'm impressed. <laughs> These are business cards. Let's see what it, what else it can handle. Project number two, hat patches. We got a bunch of different colors. We have white, light brown, dark brown. We have some that are heat transfer and some that have the 3M tape on the back. And I'm pretty curious to see how it handles the the stitching, not all of the stitching is uh, just like the other stitching. It's just a little bit off. I want to see how it handles it. And I'm curious if the stitching will confuse it with the outside of the frame, oh. the outside of the frame of the patch. Being black stitching? Mm-hmm. 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 Let's just see. Okay, I've already included a patch in here. I have measured it and I have framed it out. So all we have to do now is go to process. So are we ready? I'm ready. Oh, it's looking good. So I need oh, to should I gotta I drop some patches. Should I do a white one? We did no, a white we already one. did a white one. I'll drop it there. Uh, drop here's something there. we haven't tried. How close together can they be? Oh, okay. That's a good one. I'll drop it over there. Wait, did we get one with the 3M tape? Okay, this one's got 3M tape. The other two don't. Oh, they got them. They got you. Mmm, maybe a little... Could have been a little darker. More power. Well, well this one looks better. I think it's that white. Yeah, so that was pretty close together, and it picked it up pretty right. good. Right, they're not touching, but they're almost touching. They're probably three millimeters apart. Wow, look at the difference in the dark versus the light. The lighter the leather. Oh, hey, it flipped the image over. It did pick up the, the stitching because it flipped the image from the Yeah, I see they're again. opposite of each other. That's interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it missed one of them. Must have been too close. Well. Yeah, throw it back on there. Is that it? Oh, oh, oh it found oh, it wow. right on the Way edge. on the edge. Wow. I mean, it's so close to the edge that the smoke is coming out the side. Yeah, I <laughs> wasn't expecting it to find it there. Me neither. Me neither. I didn't think it would see it. Yeah. So it is like right, right here. I mean, yeah, I can see the shadow on the, the thing. Like I think the corner is technically out of the area. Awesome. 
Yeah, that one looks good. I was saying success. Success, I agree. I'm just gonna let it dump into my hand. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, hat patches. All right, hat Successful. patches worked. Let's see, yeah. They're all right in the same spot. That was good. Whoa. All right, that was his last one, I think. Okay, yeah, look. Pretty good, I'm impressed. Now, it, it's something to think about, though, because they are different colors of leather, while it will pick them up, notice that the white leather probably could have used a little more power, yeah. and the darker leathers, it's, it's perfect uh, for those. Yeah, may even go on a little less power, so yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, I see you. <laughs> Project number three. It's, it's keychains. <laughs> and I'm curious with this one because they have the little dangly bits. I want to see how it handle, handles the uh, key ring piece here. Now, I think it's going to handle the key ring okay, but I'm worried like... Yeah, if what it's, if it goes a little askew? Yes. Uh, what that, if it's one way or the other? Does it have to be straight up and down? Yes, because you're yeah. going to just drop them on, so... That's right. I'm going to be all willy-nilly about them. All right, I haven't tested the settings on this one, but let's go ahead and give it a try. All right. I've already measured the thickness. I have already framed it out. You didn't need to see me do that again. All right, it recognized it. Let's go. So this is blue light, and I'm doing this at 70% power, 200 oh. speed, 120 lines per centimeter. I'm just gonna throw this one on there. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that and see what happens. Mm, I don't know if that's going to yeah. work. That's close. It's when close. it's touching. Right, let's go this way. It wasn't really nearly enough. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. I think it's going to get that one way over there on the edge. I mean, after I saw the hat patch just now, yes. I think the ring is hanging out, though. Mm -mm. No, it's not, so. I mean, I can see it on the side. Oh, it's, it's just inside. Yes. I'm going to try to move this one, make it this one cattywampus. Just push that to the side. Do this one, too. Yes, when you push threw them on the there, they all ended up, like, perfectly straight. Right? Yeah, too perfect. <laughs> Oh, I got that one that is a little crooked. This seems very close to the... Oh, no, I guess it's okay. I thought it looked close to the edge, but... It's just going backwards now, because it's doing it vertically. Oh, yeah, are they all going to be in the same direction? I'll have to check that one, too. Oh, right, because then the key ring needs to be on the left-hand side of the image on each one. It's a good test. It's a good, good test, test. Good test. It's a little All bit right. open. Let's see so. if it gets it. Oh, oh, it didn't catch it. Passed on through. Is it going to get these guys? I set them all a little cattywampus. Oh, got it. I'm going to steal this one. Put this one back over here. Oh, I'm just going to drop it with my eyes closed. That's not going to work. <laughs> Like throwing dice. Ooh, let's put it way over here. Let's see. I didn't actually pay attention to how long each one of them. Maybe one minute each? Less than that? All right, it's doing the one that I purposely made crooked. Picked it up. These look good. I like them. I need one for, ooh, I'm gonna do the other side. We need to put our QR code on the other side. Yeah. So don't, do, I wanna, cause we're gonna put these, so what we didn't share yet is that we're gonna add these to some orders that we packed today. And we're just gonna toss them in. Oh, Garrett, now that's gonna have Foxy Hughes on both sides. It's a special one. Hey, they are pretty good. So these two are down a little bit. 
a little further down. Mm -hmm. well, good job on the engraved settings. Yeah, good Me. job. <laughs> they, they are right. They look good. And that one's like a little further down, right? Yep, yeah, that one's a little further down. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and call Keychain a success. It is down into the, the right a little bit. Left, down into the left a little bit. Just barely. It, Just it barely. Would, I would totally still sell those. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I notice because I have the original, but I don't think anybody else would notice. And not all of them are down into the left. Just a uh, one, two, well, three of the five are down into the left. I'll accept it. Project number four, pencils. Now we had planned on trying to trick it with some different color pencils and pencils that were sharpened and unsharpened, but we don't think it's recognizing the pencils. Right, I was trying to set it up in preparation to hit go. When I try to frame it, it doesn't recognize the object or the pencil on the conveyor. So I went ahead and manually framed it, but when I say process, this is the first one to give it its initial Oh, it spits it out. Engrave, yeah, it just spits it out. I've done this a couple times. I think it's too skinny. It's too weird a shape, pencil. <laughs> I don't even know what a pencil is. <laughs> Project number five, pens. Now, the pencils didn't work because I think they were a little too skinny and maybe too long, just too weird of a shape. So I think pens might work. Let's These are wooden pens. Yep, wooden So we're pens. just going to blue light engrave them. Um, I have measured the thickness and I will say already when I tried to frame it out it didn't recognize it but I manually framed it and let's just do nope. it together not feeling good fingers crossed Don't recognizing spit it material out. Don't spit it out spit it out <laughs> okay pens also too small Interesting. Well, they only get smaller from here, so... Yeah, this was the big one. Maybe it was the shape. Maybe it was being rounded and yeah, not I'm, flat. So. Uh, but, I mean, I didn't even try. I didn't even try. Come on. X-Tool. Come <laughs> on. You can do it. Project number six. Tiny dice. <laughs> Kim wants to do these tiny wooden dice. <laughs> I don't know what anybody would ever use these for. Well... I want to make them dinner dice, you know, where you roll it and you decide what you want for dinner. Uh, look, five of the sides are going to say enchiladas, and the other side is going to say nachos. <laughs> so. No, it's not. We're starting with Asian, as a matter of fact. All right, all right. Let's, let's see how it does with these tiny dice. All right, there's one already on the board, on the conveyor, all the way at the top here, and I framed it out, so we're good to go there. I have the settings. I'm gonna Yes. Oh, they're a little too close. I'll just spread a bunch out. See how it goes. All right, you re all right. really going to do a lot. We don't need that many dinner dice. I'm hungry, Kim. That means I got to flip that. That's too many. I'm not flipping all those I'll over. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'll all spread right. them out. There, they're all spread out all... All right, all right, okay. That was very quick. Three seconds. All right, that's a lot on the board. Let's see, four, eight. That's got eight of them. Two, they only did two of them. That's funny. All right, let's put them back here. <laughs> I did two of them. <laughs> and what did it get? One? One. I did one of them. It's okay. I'm going to keep moving them back here. None of them. Didn't like this. So get out of here. Is it the wood grain? That's what I was wondering. Some of them have a more pronounced wood grain on them than others. This is like a game. Three. Um, 
All right. Oh, none. None. Didn't enjoy those. So get out of here. <laughs> oh, something's there. happening. There's three. Two. <laughs> and that one didn't even yeah. get in the center. Okay. Oh, there's five, and it only got two. Okay. Crazy too. Yeah, the, it's to oh, it's way off. All right, I couldn't sell these. Yeah. Oh, it found something. Nope, didn't find it. All right. Okay. All right, it has trouble with the tiny dice too. It recognizes most of them, but it's not really finding the exact position where it was. Supposed to put the little uh, logo. Gonna find these. One. One <laughs> so you got about a 30% chance that it's gonna engrave. All right. I think that one was closer to where it was supposed to be, though. Okay. All right. All right. The conveyor did pretty good as long as the items were fairly large and flat. If it had rounded edges or it was a weird shape, I guess, like the pencils. I really think it was the roundedness of the pencils that it had a, I had a problem with, but it did really well with larger flat items. Well, the business, the keychains, I mean, they have rounded edges, but I guess they were large enough surface area yeah. that it didn't, it didn't try and engrave or think it was going to engrave over a rounded edge. The, the business cards, the hat patches, and the keychains, great. They worked great. We couldn't get the pencils, the pens, and the tiny dice attempted. It, the, well, the, the tiny dice aren't breaking anybody's heart. Okay. <laughs> I even tried, which I don't even think, did we even film, trying the construction, what do you call these? Carpenter uh, pencils. Carpenter, yeah, the carpenter pencils. They didn't work either. So, which seems like that would have enough of a surface area, I but it, think so. it didn't. So, pencils, pens, carpenter pencils, no. But no. tiny die, it tried. Iffy. It recognized some of them, and when it did recognize it as it went through the conveyor, it was never centered. They were way off, so. Yeah, so larger items work better than smaller items, and I think flat items work better than rounded items. But I, I would say if you were gonna do a bunch of these keychains, how fast could you run those? I think that they would be a great item to run on a quick batch processing job. You could get a lot of them done very fast. Yeah, I think this half of the projects, this would work fine. It was just as fast as if you do it with a jig. I think that half of the projects, definitely gonna need some kind of jig. All right, well, we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, make it again. Did I forget to mention, big thanks to all of our patrons. <laughs> we love you guys, and that is the best way to support this channel. And we will see you on Tuesday. Do it, build it, make it. If you